Hello, hello, hello. My name is Felice, and I film because I'm full of ideas, and I want to share them with you. So I have been, uh, I spent last winter 2023 drinking lots of hot chocolate, and every year for me, my adventure is different. So um, people call it a journey, but I don't like using the same lingo as everybody because I'm different. Okay, so here's what I do. Now, I don't have a stand for this camera. Um, I used to have a stand and I used to film out of a, a phone that the stand could handle holding. Uh, so I'm working on it. So I'm going to put this on hold for a second. Okay, that's better, at least I think. So I use chocolate. It doesn't have to be this brand. I am not, um, <clears throat> I am not, uh, whatever, sponsoring any brands, okay? I could tell you where to buy some. I could start putting links, but you got to give me time because, frankly, this is only a hobby. I never intended it to be a YouTube. I did it because there was a little old man who needed company. He lost his mom, and I started filming for him. But anyway, I am going to pour some cocoa in here okay now guess what a lot of things that you see here well i mean even I, this is not necessarily pretty but actually i found it in salvation army and guess what eventually i have to return it there because i start to own too many things and get clutter and it's hard to open these things so here i have all spice so i gotta be careful because i'm using my left hand okay i'm pouring all oh uh, I typically would mix all of these things together, um, but sometimes I'm bad, okay? I'll admit it. Sometimes I'm not really that great. Okay, so here's some cloves. Cloves is really, really good for parasites. We all got parasites. That's why we all get sick. Of course, the medical industry doesn't want us to know that. Okay, over here, I, I reuse bottles, right? Because I bought a big bottle of cinnamon. And I just named it. That's it. It ain't no Old Spice anymore. It's just plain old cinnamon. When I open my, my window, I mean, my door where I keep my spices, I can see it from the top. I can see it from the side. And I hope I don't make a mess here in pouring some cinnamon. I do have a cinnamon stick in there already. I actually reused the cinnamon stick because why waste it, right? I kind of rinse it just like I rinse my dishes and pop it right back in. And nutmeg and I do um, grind my own nutmeg often enough and that's for another video I guess but let me just finish this so this one's nutmeg could be any brand okay so all of these spices are really really good for you uh, this one over here is mace which I have no idea what it really is uh, for some reason I bought it and it's lasted me years powder doesn't go bad I guess so here we go all right so now I have everything in there uh, and I'm going to put this uh, camera down for a second. Oops, and it's still filming. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Okay, so now I'm going to pour the sugar. Let's see if I could do this with one hand, and I can't, so hold on. Okay, so I remove the lid from my sugar. I use pure cane sugar. I have all types of sweeteners, and I believe I made a film on that, a video, but I'm going to end this video by putting it all out of the cabinet and into the counter so that you can see it. Let me grab my little Incy Wincy beautiful Salvation Army cup of milk. And then typically I usually stir it before I even pour the milk, but for the sake of just filming this we're good um so you heard of turmeric uh for pain for inflammation and i'm sure you have so you usually should put uh a pepper in it black pepper so i usually grind my pepper in it and it could be fresh uh, turmeric or it could be powder and it brings down the inflammation well guess what this delicious little drink that i just made does the same thing and it's a lot more fun drinking it. Here we go. Cocoa is good for you. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Ooh. Uh oh, so now I'm dirty in my counter. Uh, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Did I? Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay. So now my hot chocolate is done. I am going to pour myself some hot chocolate. 
and uh, I'm looking behind me so let's see I need a pretty cup do I not give me a second I'll be right back okay I found myself the perfect cup so you could see right through it transparent and all I don't want to dirty my little green little background thingy all right oh, why did I take it out hello Felice <laughs> Hello, girlfriend. All you gotta do is loosen it just a little bit, not remove it all the way. And here we go. You ready for this? Here we go. One, two, three. Boom. Yes. And that's how you make hot cocoa. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope these tips have helped. How to make delicious uh, chocolate uh, at home without having to buy a flavored chocolate that who knows what's in it. At least you know what's in this. And if you want to get down to the grinder, you don't have to put uh, a store-bought nutmeg like this, right? You don't have to buy store-bought uh, cinnamon. You could grind it yourself. And I'm going to make a video. It takes seconds to do. The nut, the um, same thing with uh, an allspice. You could do the same thing with all of these. And then you could mix them all and you know what you're drinking. You know what's in your drink. Thank you so much for joining me. It has been a pleasure. Have yourself a great day. But before saying goodbye to you, please hit the th thumbs up button. Like my channel. Subscribe to it. And subscribe to notifications so you don't miss a thing. Please tell me what you think. Any ideas? Put it in the comment box. I want to hear from you and I want to know where you live. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye now.